so I just wanted you to see my setup. It's not pretty, but I think it's getting the job done. And that loose flower in there, I had dropped in there. It didn't pop out of my stuff. So this is my mat that I use for my hot glue gun. And then I have a black mat that my husband uses on the charcoal grill. Um, this was an unused one, but um, we had several of them. And then this is just something that I, I, let's see, I took my papers and with the flowers in between them and I wrapped them around with this black one and then the other side with the pink one and then I took string and I tied across this way and I tied a two across that way. I'll, I'll show you when I'm taking this apart um, how, I, how it was. Um, and then I took this piece and laid on top because I don't have any tiles or anything or any little C clamps so I'm trying it this way and then I put a pot full of water um, on top of this which is pretty much the size of the paper the watercolor it's a hundred and forty pound watercolor paper that I've got and then I've got the flowers in between it uh, so we're gonna see and then there's water and every half hour I've been adding more water and uh, I just added water so um, it's not really boiling right now. I don't have it at a rapid boil. I've got it at um, where it's just bubbling. There, you can see it, it bubbling there. Okay. Um, and I put one cup of vinegar. That's all you have to do. You don't have to reapply the vinegar. That's just to help set the, the colors from the flowers onto the watercolor paper. So I'm hoping this is going to work and uh, you guys will see it unfold as I do okay so I'll keep you informed alright for you to be back in just a sec okay and it's handheld camera so hopefully I won't get too shaky now I took the pot off and I have uh, taken this off and let it cool so I just am kind of showing you the way I have it I'm gonna grab the plastic And lift it up. I'm going to set this down just for a second, guys. And I'm going to dump the water out of here. I'm just kind of tilting the paper thing over. I just wanted you to see that I have uh, it stretched. Um, it's stretched out, but uh, this is how I had it where I had the two pieces. I'm not going to do too much with it. There's the paper underneath. And um, so I'm going to let this sit for a little while longer and then I'm going to cut the strings and fold it all back and I will let you see it as I do it and we'll see how it turned out. Okay, so here we are. I'm sorry if it's loud. My parents have got their TV on. I'm just pulling all of these strings off of here. Ah, there we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to flip this back. I'm going to flip this back. Okay. Looks like I got some neat colors in here. I'm going to carefully remove. Wow. Can you see that? Wow. Okay. And then there's that one. Um, I'm going to stick this back on here and I'm going to let this dry completely. Uh, because I, I think, um, I think it might get, pull up, pull out some more color. I don't know. Um, I'm just really surprised that this paper is still intact and is not like really rippy. So, um, there you see, so far, so good. And as soon as it dries, I will, uh, well, let's see. It'll dry quicker. Let's pull it out. 
Okay. So there's that. There's this. Let's see. Let me try and get an easy way of gra grabbing one of these. I don't want to rip it. Okay. There's that. And here's this one. You can see I just I just laid stuff down. Look how cool that is. <laughs> That's pretty ooey gooey. <laughs> okay, let's find another. Okay. Let me put this over here. Just be careful because they're pretty wilty. There's this one. Okay, oh, let me move. There we go. Get that out of there. I did, um, six different, seven, six or seven, I don't know. Let's see, there's four, five, six, seven. I did seven different papers. So I'm just trying to get the next one apart. You just have to be really careful. Now, some of these I put just back-to-back -back flowers. Let me bring this over here. And some of these, like this one I didn't put any in between the two. Let's see. And there you go. Oh my god, these are beautiful. Okay, I'm going to have to put you down for just a second. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, one thing I wanted to show you <laughs> was this. So, um, it definitely is hard on your pans. I cooked this uh, m between medium and medium high for two and a half hours. And then I let it cool until I could uh, touch the water without being warm. And it was rough on the pan. So don't use one that you don't want that to happen to. Or if you have a, a thicker, and this is kind of an, like an aluminum pan. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. But these haven't dried yet. But uh, they're really pretty. And then when they dry, um, they get ghosty-like. It's really, really pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. But anyway, um, I would definitely do a lot more than seven sheets for two and a half hours of, of work. Um, so, anyway, I just wanted to kind of let you in on that. As soon as they're all dry, I will be back. Here is the final prod product. So, uh, I can see the, where the, I had put the daisies and the stems and some of the other flowers uh, wicked out more green than they did a lot of color. And these uh, leaves actually had the spray on it so that color wicked out, so I got some very bright colors um, on where I put those leaves. You know how the floral floral people will spray something on it because it's val it's right around Valentine's Day, so they were doing that. Um, but that's what it looks like on the back, or this is the front. It really doesn't matter to me. It's just super cool. 
it is absolutely flat and straight and you're going to be able to write on this. I think that's um, one really cool thing about this is I don't know that like a lot of these type of facts that you could get that with a stencil. You know, I don't know. It's very random. I really like it. And then look how different this one is. This one I had the flower upside down and the stem was, uh, so I think, I think, I don't know, maybe this was, I don't know, one of these pa papers has the front side, this was the back side of the flower and you can see there's where the stem is and all of that. Here's the stem going up to the daisy, here's some of the little, little purple flowers so you can see some of the purple in there. Uh, yeah, just really, really cool. Um, this was the bottom most one, and it is the only one that I ended up with some uh, little kind of warping, really funny warping in there. Uh, so, I just really think these are super cool. Super cool. This was a carnation, and I just cut the back off. So it just opened up, and so I used bits and pieces of it throughout part of this. Um, yeah, just really interesting, interesting stuff. There you can see an actual design of one of the leaves I had on there. This is a little bit of a flower that was all hooked over to its side. Um, here's some lavender here just really really cool this is uh, the back side of this super cool stuff so um, again I one cup of vinegar and I boiled them for about two and a half hours and I did seven pages I I would say if you if you were going to do this I would do more than seven pages um, but you got to keep in mind the size of your pot and what you, you know, how you how you can fit it all in, because uh, it's a lot of work for what you get. It's beautiful, um, but uh, it's a lot of work. So, because you have to go down about every half hour and put more water in it, and you saw what it did to my pan. Uh, so. But I might do it again. I I, um, I definitely would not put on anything that had paint to it, but I was just experimenting. And I can totally use these, and these will go into my books. Um, again, I love the fact that uh, that you're going to be able to write over, over these things. That's just a little piece of flower I left. I took the flowers off about midway it being done drying um, and I because I think letting it dry all the way on there I was worried that it would stick like this and that I would really have to work it to get it off uh, but I did let it dry as long as possible and um, but then I took it off so that's it if you guys have any questions let me know if I forgot to cover something um, and I hope you try it. It's fun. And I love the results. Talk to you later. Bye.